Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this particular problem statement, we are going to draw the projection of a uh, cylinder, right? And the diameter is given 200 mm and the axis height is given 250 mm, okay? Further, the axis of the cylinder is inclined 45 degrees to HP means axis inclination is given. So therefore, the base inclination will be also calculated, okay? So now we are going to solve this particular problem statement. So I am going to draw the XY projection line, okay? Then first of all, I am going to draw the base, true shape of the base. So how much the diameter is given? 200 mm, okay? So I am going to select the circle from here, okay? And I am going to select one particular point, okay? So here basically, uh, two AutoCAD unit, uh, sorry, one AutoCAD unit uh, radius means, uh, this is basically, Sorry, control J. Okay, so I'm going to select the circle. Okay, so 200 mm means basically I need to take the uh, radius of basically one auto carry. Okay, so you can check the dimensions. Okay, go to diameter. Okay, and you can click here. So I'll click on snap. Okay, so this is basically 200 mm uh, diameter. Okay. Now I am going to uh, convert uh, this particular circle into two parts, okay, escape, further from this similar case I am going to divide it like the two different cases, okay, so this is basically my true shape of the base, okay, and uh, here in the front view basically the true shape of the solid I will get a rectangle, okay, I will get a rectangle, so the concepts are already with you, so I am going to draw the projectors, okay, this is the first projector similarly uh, from center or from this particular point you can take the another projector similarly from this particular point you can take the another projector okay so the true shape of the solid will be a rectangle okay and the dimensions and height is given to 50 mm okay so what i'm going to do is basically i'm going to select a line okay and from this particular point i'm selecting two autocad unit okay so i'm on the snap okay so basically two auto unit okay so this is basically my uh, rectangle okay and here from this particular point i am going to press escape okay i can go on selecting uh, the line okay and this is basically my axis so i am going to convert this axis into uh, hidden line okay load so hidden to where is hidden to okay okay so now you can convert this into hidden line okay. and immediately what I am going to do is basically I am going to convert this particular lines okay here also I need to draw one line otherwise it will be uh, not a complete figure okay now I am going to mark this particular base and this particular circle so I am so for converting to point at three zero, okay. So we park at level two, okay. So now I'm going to give the naming detects, okay. Click any point on the screen, okay. That point two and rotation angle is zero, right? So this is basically my A and one. I can write down because here A B C D and here it will be one two three four, but because the cylinder has two bases okay so on one base below base i am giving abcd naming and on the top base i am giving one two three four so a1 basically b2 right basically c3 and this is d4 and this is my basically o slash b that is my axis okay so this is my x and y reference line okay this is my vp VP in first draw front view. Uh, this is my HP. In HP, I will draw top front, and here it is my uh, name. Okay, here basically it will be a dash, right? A dash. This is basically my B dash D dash this particular point is my C dash okay and here it is also a P 
dash, the base point of the axis. Okay, similarly here it will be one uh, dash. Okay, here it will be two dash, four dash. Okay, and here it will be like three uh, dash. So I have given. So this is basically my uh, true shape of the base. This is basically my true shape of the solid. Okay. And now escape. Now I am going to do the dimensions. Okay, so that what are the dimensions they have asked? Basically, it is 200. It is 250 mm. Okay, so I have given 200 mm. So no issues. I can convert it here as a 200 mm. Okay, so accordingly I can manage. But in the examination you cannot change, right? So 200 mm height. Okay. So I am going to convert this particular scale, okay. I am going to convert this particular line uh, dimensions and the projection line into CR. Okay. Now the base of the or the axis of the cylinder is inclined 45 degrees to HP means this particular axis okay this particular axis is inclined 45 degrees to HP means I have told you whenever axis inclination is given you have to draw the base inclination so what I am going to do is basically I am going to select all this figure okay I am going to copy it okay and then I am going to paste it here okay so let us say here okay I am pasting it okay so this is basically coming like you know a dash line okay. so i'm going to convert this particular control j okay into by layer okay and now i'm going to copy it okay i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it okay and on the x y line just here yeah okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it on the x y line so do it So now this complete figure is now basically uh, copied. Okay, now I have to uh, rotate this A dash C dash by 45 degree. Okay, then only, then only what will happen? Uh, the axis will be inclined 45 degrees to HP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this particular face. Okay, using rotate command and the point base point will be this one. Okay, by angle minus 45. Okay, so now you can check. Okay, so by you can check by dimensions. Okay, go to angular. Okay, uh, select this particular line and this particular axis. Okay, you can check. This is basically uh, 45 degree inclination. Okay, the axis inclination is 45 degree. You can convert it into CR uh, color. Okay, so once this is basically marked, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the projector lines. Okay, perpendicular to x y. So from this particular point, I'm going draw one projector line okay so convert into by layer and always select here by layer. otherwise it will come again and again and select on okay so from this particular point i'm going to draw another projector line from this particular point c dash i'm going to draw another projector line so from particular point one dash and c dash the same will be coming okay so I'm going to draw another projector line. Okay. From this particular two dash four dash, I'm going to draw another projector line. Okay. And similarly, from this particular D dash, I'm going to draw horizontal line, a projector projector line from this one. So I'm going to draw this particular projector line. 
Now I'm going to mark the points, okay? Uh, anything is missing, you can check, you can check. Uh, nothing is missing, okay? So now I'm going to mark the points. So this is a dash line and this is a dash. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to convert this particular projection line into Select this projection line, this projection line, this projection line. This projection line. See, yeah, that's okay. Then only my figure looks good. Okay. Now this is a dash line. This is a one. So this is my first point A. This is B dash, D dash. Okay. So this is my D dash. This is my B dash. Okay. And this particular is my P center. Okay. Again, C dash is there. C dash is here. So this is my one base A B C D. Okay. Similarly, uh, this is my one dash line. This is my so this is my one dash. This is my uh, another point. This is two dash. This is four dash. Four dash. This is basically my 2 dash and 3 dash. This is my 3 dash. Okay. So now, basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, join with the ellipse. Okay. My ODS. So this is my one of the ellipse base. So I'm selecting ellipse from this particular toolbar. Due to the lay side, it, it looks like you know is looking like uh, it is map okay but this figure is correct okay from this particular point this is basically the generators okay okay so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to convert this particular figure into thick line okay But from here, basically, if I see, so I can see the top base, but I cannot see the inner base of the right. So I'm going to delete this. So what I am going to do is I'm going to put the trim command. Okay, I'm going to select the object. Okay, enter. Okay, and now I'm going to select this particular line. Okay, and I'm going to draw another ellipse, basically. Okay, from this particular point and from this particular point. Okay. But I am going to convert this into hidden layer and thick line. So now you can check. And this is basically my uh, the line, okay. And this is basically central axis, okay. Now I can give the naming, the text, select any point on the screen, okay. Point 2 and rotation angle 0, okay. So this is basically my A1. This particular point is my D1. This particular point is my P1. This particular point is my if you can see, check C1. Okay, or you can write down a side C1. This is basically my P1 base point, uh, access point, and this particular point is my 4 1. This particular point is my 2 1. This particular point is my 3, 1, and this is basically my point 1 and 1. Okay, and this is basically the top view of the cylinder. Okay, and so this is basically the solution for the projection of cylinder. Okay, I hope you like this particular solution. So, if you like this particular video, please like, share, and uh, subscribe. And do not forget to practice at